Hello, this is Larry W. Robinson from GospelUpdates.com. You're listening to Apostle Designate John E. Ross on the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Show. Stay tuned. Why the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, thou should have no pleasure in thee. Jesus is gone and wipe your ear, he's soon to come. Christ on your side, you can make it. Christ on your side, you can make it. Christ on your side, you can make it. Christ on your side. On in you. Jesus is calling. He's calling. Jesus is calling. Even calling to you. Remember, he called from day one. Day Remember one. them times you had the stacks and the guns. Man. Remember them times where everything went wrong and you blamed everyone else with that same old song he got. Hello everyone, this is Golf Recording Artist Appointed, founder of the Spin Awards Magazine and Award Show. I have the pleasure of being with the Let's Talk to the Award family on the episode that featured the topic, The Need to be Genuine. Congrats, John E. Ross, on your 100th episode. Say 
Make sure you guys also tune in to check out our episode called Nothing Can Hold Me Down. That's right. It's going down with your boy Jay Wills and my lovely wife, Michelle E. Wills, right here with my man, John E. Ross, on iHeartRadio. You know how we do. Let's get it. This is recording artist Reggie Campbell. The name of my episode is God's Unfailing Love. God, when I look back over my life and all the trials, snares, hurts, and pains, heartaches, disappointing times. God's love was yet there for me. Never wave, never shallow, never diminish, never change. He would pick me up when I was down. No greater love than a man to lay down his life. I stand amazed at his glory, his strength, his power. So amazing. Congratulations to John Ross on his hundred uh, episode again. With his amazing, unfailing love, John Ross, his love lifts you and others. Praise the Lord, Brother John Ross. And I am honored to be on the show of your 100th episode. And I do say congratulations. And I believe my episode was in episode three. Uh, My title was, There is a way that seemeth right unto the Lord, but the end thereof. It's destruction coming out of Proverbs 14, verse 12. And I really praise God for putting that in my spirit because coming from an industry like the music industry, you can really lose sight of who you are and who you belong to. So among praying, God revealed to me that he was calling me and really rerouted my steps. So again, I say congratulations on your 100th episode. And it's just an honor to even praise his name right now at a time like this. Amen, brother. Grace and peace. This is Brother Minister. My episode on the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel radio talk show is what ministry is all about. The Holy Spirit led me to talk about this because often we get ministry confused. So what we wanted to do was clear up some inconsistencies. It's not just about singing on Sunday or not just about your musical ministry online or on stage. The word of God states that we have been given the ministry of reconciliation and the message of reconciliation. So if we stop right there at ushering, greeting or singing on Sunday or even our musical ministry, then we have already lost. We are to be about the Great Commission and then go into the hedges and highways. For furthermore, check out that episode. But I want to give a special thanks and shout out and congratulations to Minister John E. Ross and the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk 100th episode celebration. Holy greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am the Apostle Designate Minister John E. Ross, lead minister and founder of the Omega International Prophetic Ministries, and you are listening to the 2018 Image Award winning and SPIN Award winning Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. And this is Season 3 of Let's Talk to the Lord, and this is the 100th episode celebration of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show.
And before we begin, I want to say thank you to God and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and to God, the Holy Spirit. It was their impartation into my spirit that led to the reality of this podcast. I want to say thank you to all of the listeners who faithfully listen, support, and download and share each and every episode. Thanks be to God that in 2018, Let's Talk to the Lord won for Best Talk Show on Speaker Blog Talk through the Spin Awards in Atlanta, Georgia, and a Gospel Image Award for 2018 in Charlotte, North Carolina with WYTV7's Christian Broadcasters Network. Also, I would like to thank all of of the radio stations who have carried the talk show. Those radio stations are the Glory Network, His Reflect Radio, His Grace Radio, Sensational Sounds Radio, Indie One Radio, 2SSR Radio, Extreme Word Radio, Kingdom Level Radio, W-Y-K-N-Y Radio, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, Positive Power, Double X-I, Elation Radio, Cobra Live Radio, Kingdom Influencers Broadcast, W-Y-T-V-7, Christian Broadcasters Network, Kingdom Mandate Radio, and Sky Thunder Radio, and LaVon Radio, iHeart Radio, Speaker.com, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, and Alexa. Praise God. Our guest for this 100th episode celebration of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show are 16 guests who have been guests during seasons 1, 2, or 3. Each guest will be introducing themselves and will tell us about themselves with a celebratory message for the podcast. To begin, we will begin with Brother Minister. Brother Minister, welcome to Let's Talk to the Lord. Are you, you mean me? I'm sorry. I, I didn't know if there was any other brother ministers besides myself. How are you, sir? Bless. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord to all my other sisters and brothers. And um, my name is Brother Kevin Rains. I am originally from New York, you know, living in Chicago. I, the Lord came to me in the hip-hop industry when I was praying for contracts. I was believing in, in loving God. I no truth. So at a turning point in my hip-hop career, being around Tupac, Biggie, Nas, and working with various record labels, I prayed to God for his wisdom, and he came to me and pulled me away from a lot of turmoil that was about to happen surrounding Mr. Shakur, which was a good friend of mine. So once that happened and I surrendered my life, I prayed to the Lord and asked him, what did he want from me? Which my pastor, Bishop Bell, rest, may his soul rest in peace, who discipled me and groomed me, I became his armor bearer, and from there, it just opened so many doors by me submitting to the man of God. I do a lot of street ministries. I'm, I have men drawn to me. Places I go, I, I have men say, man, there's something about you, bro. I think we need to talk, and I know that's my moment of ministry, and I just listen to what people say, and my spirit discerns where to go. So I praise God for that. Where times pass, I just felt, you know, I get saved and, hey, hallelujah. But God has given me his word about kingdom 
about bringing souls to the kingdom before this all comes to a close, and I feel like I'm responsible for souls. And that's just pretty much my foundation. And also always constantly coming to the altar and encouraging my brothers and sisters to stay at the altar, as it was in the past in Scripture. So I just say that, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, and we are glad to have you on this 100th celebration of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Amen. Amen. Riley Kidd from Season 2. Amen. We have also with us Prophetess Alma Neely. She is representing 2SSR Radio. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. It is a blessing to be a part of this great show, and congratulations on your 100th anniversary. I'm from 2 Say So Record Company out of Baltimore, Maryland, but I am now in the Atlanta, Georgia area. And I thank God for giving me this opportunity. He has truly blessed me in so many ways. Uh, he brought me into the music ministry years ago. I used to do background singing with a um, renowned singer who's now deceased, Larry Howard. And after that experience, it just laid on, it was laid on my heart that I must continue to sing for the Lord. I used to sing a long time ago in nightclubs. But God always convict my heart about singing in nightclubs. So one day, God really ministered to me in my spirit that I must go forward in him. So I gave my heart to the Lord, and I began to start writing music. I began to start writing um, things about what was going on in my life. I was going through a lot of uh, tragedy in my life during that time, and I was began to start writing encouraging words that can help you go to God. So God has really been a blessing to me, and I just thank God that he allowed me to share um, the songs that he has given me through the years. Uh, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord, and God gave me that years ago, and I began to publish, get that publishing and everything. And in the meantime, I just had to trust God in everything that he did for me during that time. So my my thing is, whatever you go through, whatever is going on in your life, you truly have to trust God all the way down to uh a loaf of bread. You have to trust God, and he will see you through. So I begin, I begin to continue on, and God has opened many doors for me to travel around the world and um, sing in many places. So I want to be a blessing to you, and I, I believe that I can be a blessing through the help of the Lord. Amen. And we're glad to have you on this 100th episode of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Positive Power from Season 2. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's going on, family? Thank you for having me, John. And congratulations, 100, 100 episodes. Amen. Amen. And a little bit. All right. And my episode was Who I Am, the Freddie Gray story. Basically, uh, we started out talking about uh, what promoted me to want to promote uh, a short, a short film or a documentary on what happened in Baltimore, and and a lot of that came from the the treatment of uh, black males. And I felt our station felt at that time it was time for us to, to do something because as as media, and we don't have many black media uh, today on cable and some of your other networks as much as we have on social media. I felt it was you know it was time for us to, to stand up and um, do something about it. So we decided to, to um, go out and, and recruit uh, several young men. I think we have like eight short films that we're going to be releasing probably this summer um, where these guys are talking about um, how they have lifted up the kingdom, how they have supported their family and built families and supported businesses. Uh, these guys are in the music industry. They're, they're only on businesses. Uh, these guys are what we call stand-up guys, I call them. And I thought they had a great story to tell. Uh, our communities have been weakened because of the media, and I felt like as, as, a, as a CEO, it was my responsibility to do something. 
and that was one my small part. So I thought that that was a really interesting piece because you asked me, was, was I there? <laughs> no. <laughs> Batman wasn't there. It was, it was really out of control, but there were some, some leaders that did come out to be part of the march and the protest. Uh, Charles, Charles D. Clark was one of them, and he, he came on our show, and we had an opportunity to talk to some of the connections he had made with a lot of the, the political and religious leaders in Baltimore because we're actually stationed 20 minutes outside of Baltimore. So uh, that was my small part uh, for, the, for what happened, and, and I felt like where we are right now that actually had helped our company catapult into multimedia because we were strictly at one time just a radio station, so now we're actually airing six television shows now that goes out to cable and connect TV as well as social media. And we're producing uh, several short films on domestic violence as well as the pieces on black males. So it, it, it generated a, a, a lot of um, positive results with Positive Power of Christian Media. Uh, you know, it, it helped us to think outside the box. Uh, it, it didn't make us closed-minded. We understand there is a concern in the black community, like many communities, but I felt like as a black man, as a as a professional, as a businessman, I, that was our part. But, and then God has rewarded us by uh, introducing us to, like I said, all forms of media right now. And we've been very successful at it, and we've been uh, training and uh, producing other television announcements, as well as Paula G., who who uh, who had to transition from, well, she's still in radio, but she transitioned into television, and she has one of the hottest shows on Christian television right now. And it's going to be leading to some other things, which which is going to be involving more um, cult, I say, um, social issues that we're going to start addressing on our other shows as well. So thank you so much, John. And I want to say hello to a lot of the guests who we've had on our show before. And thank you so much, John. You're doing a tremendous job. John is, is one of our core members and panelists of Next Man Up, which is another spinoff from Who I Am, the, the documentary. All that, the Next Man Up series, all of that has been was generated from pretty much what, what happened in Baltimore with the Freddie Gray uh, killing and the police brutality. So thank you so much, John, for giving me. Uh, my two minutes. Thank you. God bless and, you. And thank you, sir, for being a participant and having uh, me be a part of Positive Power. I truly appreciate you and your, and your support of my ministry. Next up is Stephanie D. Saunders from Season 2. Hey, John Ross. Hey. And all of the listening audience. Well, I'm Stephanie D. Sanders. And I had the honor of being a part of the the gift of one more day episode. And that episode came about from the C D to the book and the audio book in which I had done over the last what, two, three years, two or three years span. Um, about several transitions that had happened in my life and how I tried to move around and shift and do other things that I thought would progress my life. Um, because those changes had come, but it came to a point where God reeled me back in to say, I want you to use the talents and the gifts that I gave you, the innate talents that you already have. Man. So that particular episode came along with the book and the CD and the audio book um, as an encouragement and, and an empowerment to all of us that we ought to use our gifts and talents that God has given us because that's what he gifted to you to bless someone else because we're not meant to do the same thing. That's why we're so different, and he can use all of us. And I have this thing that um, God can use me wherever I go. I just have to be a willing vessel. And that's very true because moving from one state to another and thinking, okay, what am I going to do here? You know, but God really opened up the windows and allowing me to Sing, allowing me to speak, allowing me to use my voice for voiceovers and radio and acting. So those things, you, you can always be used for God wherever you go and whatever you do to touch someone's life. And it was just a wonderful opportunity to be able to come on your show 
and to talk about some of those things um, from an entertainer, an entertainer's perspective because I do entertainment from the acting and uh, voiceover standpoint. But like I said, you can still be a good example of a godly Christian person to touch other people and to bring them into the fold. Um, even in those areas of entertainment. So I just want to say thank you so much for having me on, John Ross, and congratulations for your 100th episode. And I wish you many, many more to come for the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Amen. Thank you so much for having me. That was your promo right there. (laughs) And it was a pleasure for having you on and we appreciate your participation amen your episode was truly a blessing we next we have david eagles from season two praise the lord and god bless everybody uh quick shout out and congrats to minister johnny ross on 100 episodes and let's talk to the lord uh, truly a, a tremendous blessing and appreciate the opportunity uh, to be a part of uh, what God is doing in with and through your life, with your ministry. Uh, my episode was the power of proximity, um, just uh, simply uh, focusing on and delving into and talking about uh, the power of staying close and the power that we find uh, in making sure that we are close to the Lord. Um, the scripture in Psalm 91 gives us to know that he that dwelleth in a secret place, or the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Uh, there's things that God covers and keeps us from and makes us aware of because we're close to him. Uh, you know, distance is something that makes us weak, certainly not something that God desires in our relationship with him. Uh, and so that's simply what, uh, what we spoke on and what we talked about. A uh, huge shout-out to, uh, to Kevin Rames. Uh, he's a good brother. We've done some events together. I didn't even realize he was on. Uh, This episode, but God bless you, brother, and God bless all the other guests uh, who are on tonight to participate. Uh, Minister Ross, I just want to encourage you to continue to do the work that God has set uh, apart, set you apart to do, uh, and called you to. Uh, Sometimes things may get frustrating, and uh, you know we may not see things coming together uh, as we desire. But uh, God has given us to know uh, the better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Um, and that he that cometh to the Lord must first believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So remain encouraged and, uh, again, continue to keep your hand to the plow and don't look back. Uh, may God just continue to build you up and increase you uh, as you continue to move forward in and for him. Amen. And, Brother David, I want to say thank you for your participation. Thank you for leading Remember Now Thy Creator that's been nominated for Five Rhythm of Gospel Awards, so we definitely appreciate your support, sir. Uh, thank Amen. you for allowing me to be a part. Amen. Amen. Apostle Prophetess Derache Zorn from Season 3. Hello, hello, everybody, and the Let's Talk with the Lord family. I am Apostle Deron Shay Zorn, founder of Kingdom Influencers Broadcast Network and Divine Order Restoration Ministries International. I had the pleasure of being on the Let's Talk with the Lord Season 3, Episode 79. Our episode title was No More Abortions in the church. This episode was a part of my No More Abortion campaign, which spins from my book, Abortions in the Church. And so in this episode, we had the powerful opportunity to talk about individuals who are aborting their goals, their dreams, their desires, their destiny, the purpose that God has placed in their life, and to encourage them on on how to overcome the obstacles that was hindering them for giving birth to the word of God for their life. Amen. And so we just had an amazing time with helping individuals get ready, get ready, get ready to uh, move forth and what it is that God has ordained for them. I would definitely like to congratulate Apostle John E. Ross with the Let's and the Let's Talk with the Lord family on their hundred episode. Yes, to God be you. the absolute glory for everything that he is doing through this 
ministry and the work of of your hands, dynamic man of God. And we just bless God that he continued to extend your borders, amen, to the four corners of the earth. Just continue to advance and in what God has given unto you and blessing many lives. It is an honor and a privilege to be on this particular episode giving congratulations to all the work that you have done in this ministry. Bless you, dynamic man of God. And thank you, Prophetess. We appreciate you. For those of you that may not be aware out there in Radio Land, Kingdom Influencers Broadcast is the new home for the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. She's like our main hub that is carrying us, and we air there every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock Central Time. So we thank God for you, Prophetess, and we thank you for receiving the vision that God has given me. Amen. And next we have Paula G. from Season 2. Greetings to you, Minister John E. Roth. Congratulations on your 100th episode of Let's Talk to the Lord. I Pray that God continues to bless you abundantly and that he continues to increase the gift that he has placed in you. I've had the pleasure of being a guest on your show, and during my episode we were discussing overcoming obstacles. And the reason that that particular topic spoke to me was from a lesson that I learned years ago from an uncle of mine. And that lesson was regardless of what is placed before you, regardless of the hand that you have been dealt in life, you have to play that hand and play it to the best of your ability. We all deal with obstacles. And on my TV television show, My Journey with Paula G., which airs Thursdays at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on WATC TV 57 and Sunday mornings, at 8 a.m. as well, uh, Eastern Standard Time, we talk about that journey. We talk about utilizing the gifts that God has given us while coexisting with whatever challenges that we may be facing in life, whatever obstacles that may come our way in life. And as I've mentioned, we all face obstacles in life. The challenge is how we handle those obstacles Ephesians 3 and 20 from the New Living Translation states, Now all glory to God, who is able, through his mighty power, at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. We have to remember that we always have the power of God within us. Whenever we're facing obstacles, whenever we're facing trials, whenever we are in the valley, We always have the power of God within us to overcome those obstacles, to lift us out of the valley and take us from trial to triumph. So that is why that particular episode spoke to me. It is a blessing to be a part of this radio and TV family, and I thank Jerry Royce for his ministry on Positive Power 21 Christian Media, which where I have had the opportunity to transition from radio to TV as well as voiceover and exploring the gifts that God has given me. And I encourage each and every person in the sound of my voice to explore the gifts that God has given you. Miles Monroe has said that the richest place on the planet is a cemetery because so many of us go to our graves having not utilized the gifts that God has given us. I charge each and every person within the sound of my voice Let us begin to rob the cemetery. Let us begin to use the gifts that God has given us while we are walking on this earth. My sister in radio, Shay Samuels, and I, we have this saying, and it's just show up. When God has gifted you and he has given you a gift to utilize, walk in that gift. Show up where you're supposed to show up, and God will indeed bless you exceedingly and abundantly Once again, thank you so much, Minister John E. Ross, for having me as a guest on your show. Congratulations for your 100th episode of Let's Talk to the Lord. And I leave you all with my motto that the greatest conversation that you will ever have is the one that takes place in between your ears. 
What are you speaking to yourself? <sighs> is God a part of that conversation, and are you listening to his still, small voice? Blessings to my brothers and sisters in radio. Continue to do what it is God has called you to do and embrace your journey. Amen. And before we end this celebration, I want to thank all of the guests from Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3 for your willingness to support the vision of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. The music that you will hear from this celebration episode will be Glorious by Minstrel Appointed and Remember Now Thy Creator by Yours Truly which is available in all digital outlet centers and all the music from all of the artists that have participated on the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show is available in every digital outlet center. Until next time, may God bless you and may God keep you and may you live your life under a open heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come not, nor the years draw nigh. Thou should have no pleasure in them. Jesus is gone and quite your ear. He's soon to come. It's never too late. What you give in your life today? Do you remember? Jesus is calling, here I'm calling you. Jesus is calling. calling, he's calling. Jesus is calling, calling. here I'm calling you. Remember, he called from day one. Day Remember one. them times you had the stacks and the guns. Yeah. Remember them times where everything went wrong and you blamed everyone else with that same old song. It got old. You gotta call your maker. Don't let God become paper. Nobody's beyond redemption, man. Jesus. Savior, and truth be told, he's a righteous savior. Look, homie, you got a calling on your life. You heard me right, he chose you. You don't think he knows what's going on, he knows you. Just like you, I was born from sin. Now I'm born again, and if you look within, you'll find purpose again. Nobody's man, this man, cause God got a plan. Look, open your heart, if you down and
Now God is all you got, he'll lift you 